Hello everyone, Marion from Wool Thread Paint here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the large heart square which appears in the winter season blanket which is available in my Etsy shop. It's a Christmas inspired blanket and uses um, the themed colours of reds and greens and creams and silvers which is appropriate for the Christmas season. The blanket features these large heart squares in four of the corners and also uh, as an option in the very centre square. So this is why um, I thought I would start by showing you this one in case you, this is just the one that you're going to start with. You have got two options for the centre square and one of them is this large heart. So it starts off with um, two rounds of a simple granny square. So you are starting with a chain four um, slip stitching into the first chain to form a circle, uh, chaining two and then um, two trebles, chain two, three trebles, chain two, three trebles, chain two, three trebles, chain two and slip stitching into the top of the chain two to form the first part of the granny square. The second part is just another round of the granny square and you have to make sure that when you're ready to start the third round you're going to be starting it in a corner. So if you finish your um, second round of the granny square say in the middle, slip stitch it up to the corner ready to start the third round. Now the uh, pattern for the actual heart works with two colours to create the pattern. It looks very clever but really it's only the third round where the colours change and then after that the fourth round we're back to the pearl colour again. So it's only in the third round of this simple granny square that you're working with two colours and that's what I'm going to be showing you um, today. Now the other thing I want to point out is that if you're using this one for the centre I recommend that you go on and make the other four as well so that they're ready for when you come to them. But the centre one is treated very slightly differently from the other four when you come to the outside edge. So once we've done this um, cream and we've uh, created the, the shape of the heart, we do a round of uh, half trebles in the green tea and then a round of trebles in the olive and then for the centre square only you're going to make two rounds in the, bar the Merlot which is this nice dark um, burgundy wine colour. You're going to make two rounds in half trebles. So by the end of, this, of the second round of, of um, half trebles which is the eighth round of this square you will have groups of granny trebles around one side which um, count up to eight groups. Now that's just for the first square. The other four you make in exactly the same way until you get to the olive and then instead of two rounds you just do one round in the merlot and this time in trebles not half trebles. So there's a slight difference so you're doing one square with the two rounds of half trebles and four squares with um, the one round of trebles for the Merlot. That's the only difference. I'm now going to go on and show you. I'll start after I've completed the first two rounds of the granny square and then I'll move on and show you how to make the heart shape. Located there. What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to turn this time. I'm going to leave it on the front and I want to start my next round, which is round three, in this corner. So we have to get this uh, working thread from here to the corner. So the, only, the easy way to do that is just to slip stitch through the couple of stitches along the top and then slip stitch into the corner and we're ready to go. So again, chain two, treble, 
one, treble two, chain two, and you would make three trebles into this corner as normal. But at this point, I've just done two. I'm going to do the third, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm stopping it while there are still two loops on the hook because this is where we pick up the second colour. And this is the pearl colour we're using. Now, just bend it over. You can make a slip stitch or you can just bend it over your hook and pull it through to finish off that treble. Now, you can see that things start to get a little bit loose and wobbly. So at this point, you just need to be... I'll give myself a little bit longer loop to work with this so that I don't uh, have to keep pulling. Right, so what we're going to do now, we have a space in the middle of this round to make three trebles and we're actually going to make these three trebles in the pearl colour and so that's why we've got that on our hook ready. So just give everything a nice little tug because you want to keep your stitches quite firm so you tuck, tuck up everything. Take your end because we're not finishing that off Take this red, the ruby end, and lay it on top of your crochet. And then yarn over and make your three trebles. When you've made the first one, again, you can just use your end to tighten everything up. And then second treble. And third And at this point, we're going to change back to do the corner in the ruby. Now, the tip that I mention in the pattern to stop these um, yarns from twisting is to always have one at the front and one at the back. And then just keep in mind which one that you have at the front and you do it that way every time so that they don't twist as you're working. I've chosen right throughout the blanket where I'm working with two colours to keep the lighter one to the front, the darker one to the back, and that's just the way I remember it. So we've done the first part of the third treble. So it's time now to pick up from the back the ruby and finish it off. Give everything a nice little tug. And then we can carry that pedal along the top. So we're going to work in our corner now with three trebles. Chain two, three trebles. This time we don't need to change colour because we're going to do the ruby colour in the middle of this side as well. So we can complete by making the third treble all the way. But our um, pearl yarn is sitting nicely along the top again because we're going to pick it up for the bottom corner. So I'm going to make my three trebles in the middle space on this side and the pearl yarn is still being trapped underneath these stitches to hold it nice and firmly. At this point, we're going to change again because this corner is going to be all in pearl. Then we'll do ruby in the middle section and another corner of pearl and then ruby uh, in the middle of that side. So that will give us the heart shape. So remember, our pale colour is at the front, dark colour at the back. So we pick up the pale colour. Just grab that ruby to keep it nice and firm. And there we are, ready to do the corner. Pick up the ruby and let it lie along the top and work one, two, three trebles. Chain two, one, 
two, three, but stop halfway. Leave that to the front, pick up the ruby and finish off. Right, so the middle of this, this is the bottom of the heart and the middle is of the side of the square is ruby again. But we want to get back to this pearl colour for the corner. So we drop the ruby, pick up the pearl at the front, finish off that stitch, carry the ruby round the corner and work your corner. So that's one, two, three trebles, chain two, one, two, and on the third one, again, we'll stop halfway and pick up the ruby from the back and finish off the stitch. Pull everything into shape and we're ready to work up the middle. Now you can see the pattern for the heart is appearing. We're going to carry this pearl along the top and work our three middle trebles in ruby. As we have. Now we obviously we don't need to change back to the pedal so at this point we can finish off by working into the top of the first chain two. That's us finished with the ruby so we can cut that and finish it off. And you can see the way the um, heart is beginning to take shape. Right, so we've still got our um, length of wool. I think we'll just cut that because that's probably easier to just start and work our way around. Uh, <clears throat> so at this point, we're about to start the fourth round of the granny square and we'll start as normal in the corner. Now you'll notice that while I've been doing the actual two colour work I've kept everything to the front. You don't want to be swapping around because little bits of the colour do appear when you're carrying it around the back. Not a lot but it's actually better to keep it neat on the front. So what we're going to do now is chain two and this is on to a very simple round. The worst is past really. So we chain two and um, two trebles and we'll finish this corner when we come back round again. In here we're going to go in between and make three trebles. And three trebles at this point as well. And then we're at the corner. So it's three trebles, chain two and three trebles. And into the middle section. We've got two spaces in the middle when we're doing round four. So this is three trebles into this one and then three trebles into the one below. I think I've actually split the thread there but uh, I'll just keep going. Yeah I have. And then we're down to the corner so it's three trebles as usual, chain two and three trebles. I'm just going to keep going with this because I do want to show you the next round. So uh, if you want to just bear with me, I'll work as fast as I can 
going around this to three and we've got two when you actually have um worked with two colors this chain the, not this chain spaces but the spaces between the trebles are a little bit more tricky to find you just have to use your hook to push it in because the color has been run along the back it can fill up the space a little but there it is and one two three and then into the corner three trebles two three eagle-eyed amongst you might notice a little mark on this and actually this I was telling you a little fib there earlier on when I was talking about this being Derrimore's Pearl. In the blanket it's Derrimore's Pearl but I um, used it all up in the blanket so for this sample I'm using the Stylecraft and Cream, the Stylecraft Special and Cream and this is just an odd ball which managed to have coffee spilt on it at one point so I've always just kept it for doing samples so if you're wondering what that dirty mark is it's um, an ancient spill of coffee and so we're doing three more trebles we're coming up to the final side of this round four we started with um, half of that corner so I'm going to finish this corner off with three trebles and chain two and then slip stitch into the top of the first chain two. Let's find that. That's it. And there we go. Right, let's pull these threads out of the way. These ends. And you can see the heart looking quite smart in the middle there. There are odd, there's that little bit which just could probably have helped with a little tug, but it's not bad at all. And on the back, you do actually see occasionally a little bit more of the, um, the yarn that's been carried. So just make sure that you always have your um, square on the front. Now, we're finished with the cream or the pearl. So I'm going to cut that and just pull it through and that's the square. So the next so that's as I say that's the um pearl complete and the next round is this round in the green tea, the pale green colour. And it just works around in the normal way of working a granny square. But this time I chose to make it in half treble stitch rather than the treble for no other reason than I just thought it varies the size so maybe makes the square look a little bit more interesting. So it's just like any of the others. But what I did was I flipped it onto the other side to make this stitch because um, <clears throat> you'll know from the way I, I do my crochet that I like to turn my granny squares so that they lie nice and flat. So I started in a corner with the usual chain two, two half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, chain two, three half trebles and so on. And then turned it over to the front again and did another row with the olive, uh, this time going back to the trebles. And then as I explained at the beginning of the video, you do two rows of half trebles in Merlot if it's for just for the middle square at, at the beginning or one row of trebles for the other four squares in the outer corners of the blanket. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope it helped if you haven't used two colours before. Bye for now. Hello everyone, Marion from Wool Thread Paint here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the large heart square which is part of the winter season blanket um, which has just been published on Etsy. 
The blanket is a Christmas inspired uh, throw for the winter season in uh, soft reds, uh, greens, creams and silver and um, apart from the heart there's a candy cane border and other squares with small rings of hearts so it all comes together as a nice Christmas themed blanket. This square is um, Hello everyone, Marion from Wool Thread Paint here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the large heart square. <clears throat> so that's, as I say, that's the um, pearl complete. And the next round is this round in the green tea, the pale green colour. And it just works around in the normal way of working a granny square. But this time I chose to make it in half treble stitch rather than the treble for no other reason than I just thought it varies the size so maybe makes the square look a little bit more interesting. So it's just like any of the others but what I did was I flipped it onto the other side to make this stitch because um, <clears throat> you'll know from the way I, I do my crochet that I like to turn my granny squares so that they lie nice and flat. So I started in a corner with the usual chain two, two half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, three half trebles, chain two, three half trebles and so on. And then turned it over to the front again and did another row with the olive, uh, this time going back to the trebles. And then as I explained at the beginning of the video, you do two rows of half trebles in Merlot if it's for just for the middle square at, at the beginning or one row of trebles for the other four squares in the outer corners of the blanket and that's it I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope it helped if you haven't used two colors before bye for now